What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to use Streak and integrate it into your uh, Gmail uh, inbox so that you can use its services right into your Gmail. Uh, Streak is a CRM service that integrates in your uh, Google or uh, Gmail inbox so that you can access all the services and uh, view all your leads and sales and services and options right into your Gmail inbox. So here you go to streak.com and if you scroll down you can view a an overview of the service and its features here so you can manage all your uh, lists and buyers sellers your tickets your leads your projects all from within your Gmail account here and you can view some features here and then you can go ahead and add to Chrome and once you click on add to Chrome here It'll open the Chrome Web Store and open the Streak CRM uh, plugin for Chrome. You can go ahead and click on Add to Chrome or you can go ahead from within the same page. You can go here to the three dots here on the top right of your Google Chrome and then click on uh, go to extensions and then go to visit Chrome Web Store if you click on it. It'll open the Chrome uh, Web Store. You can search for Streak, okay, and you go, you get here the Streak CRM for Gmail. So if you click on it, you will basically go to the same page here. So I'll go back to uh, the Streak uh, CRM install. I'll click on Add to Chrome here. It'll take a few moments, and then I'll click on Add Extension. And once I do, it'll download the extension here and it'll install, it'll get installed on uh, my computer. And here it says the Streak CRM for Gmail has been added to Chrome. It gives you uh, a trial here and uh, it, all, it automatically will redirect me to my uh, Gmail page here. Okay, and now uh, the Streak CRM pop-up log uh, appears here and the streak page opens and it asks me to sign in with my Google account so I'll go ahead and sign in with the same Google account that I will be using uh, CRM on this uh, streak CRM on so I'll go ahead and click sign in with Google okay so once I've done this and signed in with my Google account and allowed the necessary uh, permissions for streak it'll go ahead and load up here here it asks me like uh, some questions to what I want to use Streak for. So um, let's go other. Okay, uh, okay. Now let's see uh, CRM. Let's choose CRM. Um, it's just me. Okay, we're primarily using Streak for uh, sales. Where would you like to import data? I'm not importing data. Okay, so uh, it'll analyze my inbox. I can skip it for now. I can skip this step for now. And then click on continue. And here you have the uh, streak, like uh, dashboard or the streak interface right within your uh, Google inbox here. So as you see here, you have your normal uh, menu for your uh, inbox. So for your uh, Gmail, like inbox, starts, news, and so on. And you have, here you have a new menu for streak so a uh, streak pipeline here you have sales you have here the stages you have leads contacted pitched demo negotiating and so on so here and you can see here like uh, on the left here uh, the streak uh, menu if i close it you can see here two uh, new icons so the streak and streak upcoming and here you have the stages here uh, so leads contact and so on and click next it gives you like a quick tutorial so if I click on this plus icon I can create a box so let's go ahead and do so right now we click on add box here and a box is like a task so we have here the stages for uh, my pipeline my uh, sales pipeline and under lead I have like task so let's name it uh, like task one okay hit enter and here you can you're all set so you can go ahead and view other tutorials and this video if you want to so i'll close it for now let's go ahead and uh, add another task to the lead so like task two enter and in the uh, negotiating so in the negotiating stage tasks in the negotiating stage let's add a new task so task three and uh, let's add a new task here under uh, closed one so plus icon 
and then task four. Okay, and uh, here under each stage here, you will find that the number of tasks is now updated and you can rearrange the stages as you wish. And in each stage, you can rename and manage the stage and you can also delete it. I'll show you in a minute. So you can rename it, delete to uh, like starting, for example, or any name that uh, you want. Okay, Hit enter to uh, rename it. Now, uh, you can go ahead and view the other uh, leads. Okay, now let's go ahead here in the uh, streak pipeline. You can uh, go ahead and click on the plus icon here. And here you have your different leads, your different, sorry, stages. And you can uh, delete any stage that you want. So let's uh, say I want to delete the nurturing uh, one. I don't want it. And you can click here on the plus icon to add a new stage. So let's name it. Uh, reviewing and here you can uh, okay hit enter and here you can click here to uh, change the color palettes here so if I go to uh, pink here you can see that the color for the different stages is now the palette for the pink color let's um, let's change it a bit here to like mix it up and you can add different fields so for each stage here you have different fields so like date of last email last email from lead source priority and so on and you can also delete each uh, field here so let's uh, delete this field for example and you can add new fields so you can choose between free form date checkbox drop down and so on and here in the email tracking so let's close this pop-up and in the tasks for example you get uh, like many uh, types of tasks so next due date completed task count so let's add an incomplete task assignees here okay and we can also rearrange the fields if we want to and we also have templates for projects here you can view the stages for a project like a new assigned working completed postponed and uh, business dev hiring job search investor and so on and you can go here to support here to view also the stages for uh, support and we have a custom so that you can add the stages that you want and the fields that you want from scratch so these are all templates for uh, your pipeline for your business pipeline with uh, stages and fields and each uh, template with different stages and fields depending on the type of the template so like the fundraising uh, template has like lead met with first contacted pitch turn sheet and sign signed as well as money in bank and so on for stages and for fields you get like different fields uh, especially for this fundraising and so on so uh, here you get the point so let's go ahead and create click on create here to uh, create our pipeline and we can here uh, make it specific people for an entire team or private I can go ahead for now and will make it a private uh, pipeline or project for now and my pipeline will be created here so I have the uh, fundraising pipeline here that I created we uh, that appears now in these streak pipelines so they, I have the sales and uh, the fundraising the sales that I added the task to and here I have the fundraising that I created and can I can also uh, do the same so uh, like click on the plus here to add boxes to uh, the stage to also task like tasks and so on uh, and I can delete it or edit it so I can share it I can set the color I can set an icon for it I can move it down or hide it or uh, delete it so let's delete it for now okay and besides the uh, streak pipeline you have also uh, mail merge so uh, if I click here on the plus icon I can send a mail to like the company and I can add a box if I click on add to box here I can add uh, like a box in sales with all the details that I want to send to this person so that was a quick overview of the streak CRM implemented or uh, integrated within your uh, Gmail and how to use it for your business pipeline.